What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Fish and Sim World video and now there has been an update to Fish and Sim World that I have been waiting for forever. Uh, Fish and Sim World Pro Tour. So let's get right into it, man. Oh, what's it? Uh, current level... Sure. Okay. So as you can see, they added a career mode, man. Okay. Cool. Keep giving me all that stuff. But... Oh, I'm excited, man. I really just want to get into this career mode. But, fishing trip. No pressure fishing. I don't know. New career. Yeah, man. This is... Oh, yeah. This is a completely different game. And honestly, I just want to get into the career. Alright. Welcome to career mode. Get ready to start your journey from amateur angler to the very top of the fishing world. There are three different tours for you to complete oh <laughs> to complete compete in which you can opt into or out of at any point during your career as you achieve success you will gain followers the more followers you have the more interest you will generate with potential sponsors tournament wins and sponsor bonuses will both add to your total career earnings we wish you the best of luck and I wish me the best of luck all right character customizations we are from the United States of the America yes sir primary color oh we're going with black oh yeah then we're going with this blue oh yeah looking real nice what does that look like it oh yeah a little Miami, little Miami heat colors of jerseys uh, uh, we definitely got to change these pants I don't know what this was about Perfect, perfect hat. Of course, we're gonna need a hat. You know, uh, primary color of the hat, black, of course. And do we want it the pink color? Or do we want it? Yeah, we want it that. Sunglasses. Oh yeah, you can put sunglasses and hats on now. That's what I'm talking about. We need black frames. We gonna need blue lens. Primary color, definitely black. Uh, we're gonna go with some white. And then, yeah. Carp, eh, I might not even touch this. Um, to be honest. I, me personally, I don't know if I'll ever do these carp tournaments. But, if I do, I'll just leave all this. I don't really care too much about this. Alright, league. Select what league you wish to compete in. Obviously amateur, because we can't give these yet. And a past tour is what we will be doing. Alright. Spring Creek Open. Vic Calendar. Alright, what we got? Lake Gunnersville. Nice. Uh, Lake Travis. Lake Mondo. That's not going to be fun. And Lake Johnson and then Lake Boulder. Lake Boulder all the way at the end. Yep, that's a tough one. Of course it's a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. I might not even get through that one. But, um, let's, uh, let's get right into the Spring Creek Open. As you see here, you can start event or practice event. Uh, okay, considering I don't know about this specific map, I don't know if I want to start the event yet or not. Um, we'll do practice event, and then we'll see where we go from there. Alright, here we are. This is what right just off the Tennessee River here um, I don't know they were fishing kinda like somewhere with docks when I was watching the stream this kinda looks like it over here I'm not for sure so we're just going right here in the middle uh, hopefully that's where they were <laughs> alright here we are and this is not where they were but I do see a dam and we're gonna go right over there and see what is popping with this because as you know Lake Johnson of course has that crazy dam that has so many fish on it so I believe we're just gonna go right here and fish this up and down a little bit I'm not gonna really gonna use the trolley motor uh, simply because I don't want to let's check out my guy oh yeah oh yeah you already know that that means business that means business alright alright so by the way um, oh, they changed this hole up. 100% first cast? I haven't been gone long, have I? Alright, 
So on Lake Gunnersville, there is a 17.1 pound bass that if you catch and you post to Twitter and tag them, uh, Dovetail will actually give you something. I don't know what it is. They never clarified exactly what it was. But, um, yeah, so let's see if we can uh, get some fish here. Perfect strike. They changed that. All right. It is a bass, of course. I mean, I'm using a, a bug, so. All right. I don't know if Gunnersville has predators yet. I haven't really looked at all the fish species. I probably should have done that. But let's see if we can uh, get this guy in here. He's a jumpy one. He's a jumpy one. Get our first late Gunnersville bass in here. He's fighting a little bit, fighting a little bit. He's not too big, though. Let's see what he is. Nice four-pound bass to start off Lake Gunnersville. Ooh, all right, that's a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one indeed. Hit that one. All right, all right. Lower it, lower it. Lower drag a little bit. I got to work. All right. Please don't break off. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a decent one, for sure. Alright, here he is. That took a fight. That was a fight, and that is a 12 pound bass right off of Lake Gunnersville, baby. Are you kidding? Second bass is a 12 pound 8 ounce. I about said 12 pound 8 pound. 12 pound 8 ounce bass. Man, can't get no better than that. Alright, I believe I'll catch one more fish off of Lake Gunnersville here, and then I'm actually going to head out back to the main menu and look at all the trophy fish they've added and just to see what they added and stuff because I knew they were going to add Lake Gunnersville. That's what I was really excited for. And, you know, the career mode. So, I want to see what else they added and then, uh, yeah. Alright, I think I may have pushed my luck a little bit with that 12 pound bass, but I think I'm going to push up here just a little more close to the bank over here. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> yes, yes, this, this is where we want to be. Oh, yeah, let's see if we can, uh, oh, I didn't want that, wrong, wrong thing here. Alright, boom, let's try to flip it in there a little bit, huh? Get a little side. A little side. Get it right under there. Ooh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. I knew there had to be something under this. Under this bridge. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they actually added, like... I don't know if there was ever in the game before, but, like, bug sounds. <laughs> like beetles. Um... Yep, that's definitely beetles. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but... Alright. Oh, smallmouth. Okay. Nice little five-pound smallmouth. Not too bad. But, um, I do believe I'm going to go back to the menu here and search what all this stuff is. But off cam, when I'm not recording tonight, I'll probably go around and see where the best spot is for that tournament. Uh, that will probably be in the next video. So I'm going to go back to the main menu here and, um... Look at all this stuff. All right, here we are. Let's check out uh, the Lake Gunnerville trophy catches here. Here's a 16-pound, 9-ounce bass. Name's Boxer. Um, now, I believe this is the one that uh, Chia here, if you get, I believe that's the that's the one that, um, or it may be this one. It's one of these, but they said 17 pounds bass but I didn't realize there was two of them so if you catch one of these send it to dovetail like tweet them at them um, to see I don't because I'm not sure which one it is they may have said it but there's two 17 pounders here so I don't know Sm 10 pound 10 pound smallmouth that's insane oh 11 pound it just got bigger 
another 11 pounder. Ooh, 8 pound spotted bass. That's really big because spotted bass really don't get that big at all. Uh, channel cat, 40 pounds. Okay. So they added some uh, more American catfish. I like that. I may I may do some more in that now. And they also put trout. Yes, I knew they were going to put trout. Uh, musky. All right. 32 pound long nose gar. 33. Some pickerel crappie. And um, yeah, let's check out Lake Travis. Mm, nine pounds. 15 pounds. 15. Four, four, five. 13, 13 pound spotted bass. Holy man, that is Texas though. Spotted bass, yeah. Yeah, 14, okay, yep. Texas is a big, big place for uh, spotted bass. Lloyd, I like it. <laughs> Lake Miller. Uh, 70 pound musky. All right, 71 pound. Not bad, not bad. Some walleye, 18 pound walleye right there. Lake Boulder, oh, we already know, but they added more, right? Cavalier. I've caught a couple 11 pounders off of here before, so I may have, I don't know, but I think these are all new. Uh, oh, never mind, 10 pounds, 13 ounces. Well, it's basically 11 pounds. <laughs> and they also added a era. Arapama, I believe that's how you say it. Um, yeah, they can get over 800 pounds, but I, I believe the biggest one in the game is 500 something. Um, to get that, it is a DLC. It does cost $15. Uh, considering I'm not a big fan of catching stuff like that, um, I probably won't buy the DLC. But um, yeah, what is that thing? A Paku? I'm not sure. A Siamese carp. There's a channel cat. Beast. Beast in and out. Uh, oh, they added red tail catfish. That's cool. A Mekong catfish, yes. I've yeah. I've seen a bunch of people catch these kind of catfish. And everyone knows what trout looks like, muskies, landers, you know, all this. Let's see if they added anything. Nope. Alright. So Guys, I believe that is it for this video, man. I am excited about the Pro Tour, man. And I cannot wait next time or next video when we can start get started on some career mode. So, guys, leave your comments in the comments. Um, <laughs> yeah, leave your comments in the comments about what, um, what you're most excited about on Pro Tour, man. It, it's got to be the career mode for everybody. Um, maybe it's the Era Prime. I, I don't know. But, uh, guys, this is the end of the video. Like if you liked it. Like if you didn't like it. See ya.